on days when your colleagues work from home, there isn't always someone around to ask for help. That's when a company intranet can be useful, but some intranet can be so busy and hard to search. You might see 10 different versions of the same file or simple information buried in a wall of text. With an intranet like that, you can get distracted and eventually give up. So today, I'll share five intranet design tips to make your SharePoint intranet helpful and easy to use. So let's get to it. Tip number one, make the top of your homepage simple and to the point. Have you ever been to a restaurant with hundreds of meals to pick from? It can be hard to choose anything. The same principle applies to your intranet. Too much news and links all at once may be overwhelming, and that's not a good user experience. Like in this example, this page has so much content competing for users' attention, this design can be easily overwhelming. Instead, try showing one piece at a time, progressively leading employees through your site and helping them focus. Remember, space on the screen is free to use, so use more space if you need to. Here's an example of how you might show company news. Clean, distraction-free, with easy access to applications and tools employees need. Tip number two, personalize your pages where possible. Personalized pages look more relevant to employees. For example, if I'm a project manager, I may need access to different tools than other people in the company. So if the pages have links and news to help me complete my day-to-day -day tasks, the internet will be more useful to me. I can add permission-driven content on a page, like these quick links you can see in this example. This way, I can see sections and links specific to my role. There are many other parts of the page that employees might like personalized, such as tasks, recent documents, and team sites. Tip number three, break up the page into digestible pieces. How often do you see an internet page with nothing but a thousand word policy? It can be hard to read. Our own page analytics show that internet users scroll past the wall of text because it's too overwhelming to process. The solution is to chunk content into collapsible sections, progress lists, checklists, and simple graphics to make the page easier to navigate. For example, take a look at this page. Here, employee onboarding information is shown as paragraphs of text. It can look daunting and might be more challenging to read. Now, compare it with this design instead. The roadmap steps are fitted into a simple timeline and onboarding days are neatly organized into a drop-down list. Looks much easier to read, right? There is even more space on the page, making it easier to scan. The next design tip has to do with the video content on your intranet. During the pandemic, many companies started to record town halls, training presentation, and lunch and learns, making them all available on the internet like this. It's a great idea to add uh, video content to the internet, but not when it's all mixed up together. So the next tip is, if you're using videos, group them by topic. Here is an example. This design still lets you add any number of videos, but it doesn't look so overwhelming as the one before. If you have more than one video category, for example, training videos and town halls. You can make them stand out better by separating videos into each of their own categories. Looks a bit easier to read, doesn't it? All right, the last design tip I'll share today will help your employees find information faster. Tip number five, make search easy by tagging forms, templates, and other content. We often hear employees complain that they have a hard time finding resources on SharePoint. This isn't entirely the search problem. Let me elaborate. Let's say you have forms and templates sprinkled all over the internet. Some live on department sites, some live on pages. When employees search for a form using a global SharePoint search, the results pick up any documents with that name or a keyword. This can bring back draft documents, all documents, 
or even completely unrelated files with a similar name. It's all mixed up and up to employees to figure out. Now, here's what you can do instead. Keep your forms, templates, policies, and procedures in the form of a directory like this one. When employees need a form or a template, they know to go to a form and template directory, and they know that this directory won't bring up anything else but the latest documents and templates. They can search by a keyword, or if they don't know what keyword to use, they can search by a tag. You can also bubble up popular searches to the top of the list. We found that one of our customers solved 75% of their IT support tickets related to the search thanks to this organization. So there you have it. Use this top five design tips to make your SharePoint internet helpful and easy to use, whether employees work from the home or the office.